Jamba Prepper here, KC1CWP. And in this video, you did hear correctly, huh, 11.3 miles on one watt. We're going to be testing out the Baofeng UV8HR, which is the high power version of the UV5R. Okay, now um, we'll uh, do this fairly quickly because it is the same as the UV5R, except you have three power options low, medium, and high. One watt. 4 watt and 8 watt. Uh, now I want to say thank you to Mr. Michael Yi of Visbro Technologies for giving me this amazing opportunity to review this amazing radio. Uh, and if you are interested in uh, anyone out there is interested in buying this radio, please click the link below uh, and you'll go to AliExpress.com where they are $53.46 a piece with free shipping from China. Uh, mine got here in nine days, so yours should, uh, shouldn't should take much longer than that. Tracking number and everything via Singapore Post or a Hong Kong Post airmail. So it's fairly quick shipping. Uh, and for the price, it's a little more than the UV5R Plus, but you're getting a lot for your money. Definitely worth it. Like, for example, uh, 8 watts VHF, 7 watts UHF. Uh, these are new for 2015 as well with new firmware. And have a custom... RF power MOSFET. A MOSFET, for those of you who don't know, is a metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor. <gasps> Ooh, take a deep breath, that's a lot to swallow. <laughs> it's a uh, type of transistor used for amplifying and, and or uh, switching uh, electric signals. Okay, electronic signals. Um, so basically, same things with the UV5R. You're looking at a, it's a portable handheld. Takes the BL5 lithium-ion battery, rechargeable. Uh, in the box, you're going to get one of these batteries here. You're going to get the charger, uh, the wall wart and cable for the charger, the belt clip, an earpiece mic, and everything in the bag, uh, a user manual, the antenna, and the radio itself. Uh, you're looking at a frequency range, 2 meters and 70 centimeters. So that is uh, 136 to 174 megahertz VHF and 400 to 520 megahertz UHF. 128 channel storage. Now, it does say that the maximum range is 5 kilometers to 10 kilometers. Uh, 10 kilometers is, I believe, 6 miles. Let me just double check here. Yeah, 10 kilometers is 6.21, uh, 6.2 miles. Okay. Uh, from testing this, and we'll show you, uh, I was able to hit a repeater and hear the repeater identification clearly on low power. That's one watt, and that repeater is 11.3 miles away in Goshen. Now, just to let you know, if you showed me a blank map of Connecticut with just the outlines of the towns and said, where's Goshen? I'd say, I don't have any damn clue. <laughs> All I know is that it is 11.3 miles southwest of where I am right now. Okay, um, so the uh, basic functions of it, it's the same, and I'll do some videos later on as well comparing it to the setup and everything with the UV5R Plus because there are some differences, Differences, excuse me, uh, you get the, the LCD screen, you get the uh, three different colors, you know, purple, orange, blue, you have the LED flashlight in the top here with the uh, on strobe feature and then off, and that's the monitor button, you got the... Uh, uh, alert call like the uh, alarm. You get the push talk button, uh, VFO memory, uh, Alpha Bravo for top bottom selection, uh, different band the band selection VHF UHF, uh, and you get the stock rubber ducky antenna. I do recommend upgrading to a Nagoya, but I'm actually not seeing any major difference between this antenna and my Nagoya NA701. Okay, um, now. With, I have the bigger battery on here, and I'll talk about the batteries in another video. But first, let's uh, do oh, show you here. When you go to the menu, okay, menu option number two. If this, uh, I have to turn the thing off. Is TXP. Oh. That's actually that repeater, eleven point three miles away, four four zero point two five megahertz. And if, if we look on my repeater book app on my phone here, my iPhone. Kilo Uniform 1 Quebec is in Goshen, 11.3 miles southwest. Okay. Um, but TXP is menu option 2. 
And uh, you'll select low, medium, or high. Just gotta wait for the, I gotta turn the uh, backlight off for this here. Menu option two, go to TXP, menu again, high, medium, low, okay, and as you see at the top, it'll change, medium, that's on high rather, there's medium, there's low, okay. So we're going to try and hit this uh, Torrington repeater, 146850 on, I'm on high power, I'm going to go to low power. And this is, uh, uh, let's exit, 146850 megahertz, which is 9.8 miles south in Torrington. That's the uh, Whiskey One Hotel Delta November repeater. Let's hope it's not too busy tonight. Oh, that's loud. <laughs> Turn that down. KC1CWP monitoring. Yeah, so nothing back from there. Uh, let's try it on oh, high power here. Okay. KC1CWP monitoring. Not getting anything back. But, um, oh, there we go. It just might be again where I am in the room. It's just, it's, I, I should be doing this outside. Uh, it's getting dark out and stuff, so I wanted to make sure that I uh, I'll do I'll do more of this stuff tomorrow with all this. But um, okay, let's go to 4425. That's the one in Goshen. That's 11.3 miles away. Okay, um, and 11.3 miles to kilometers is 18.18 uh, .18 kilometers. Okay, um, okay, let's try this here. KC1CWP monitoring. A little staticky and stuff. Again, we're inside. We got all those computers and everything around here, so I'm not surprised with any interference. And that was on low power once again. Okay, so as you see, it's on low power. So on one watt, you're looking at a range. So um, that's definitely awesome. Uh, again, we'll do some more videos um, outside and everything with testing this out as well as on the road. I might try some mobile antenna stuff with it. But there will be much more to come on this and other radios as well and uh, batteries and all sorts of other cool stuff for Baofeng Pofeng. In any case, thank you for watching. Please follow me on Twitter at prepared for the number 4 SHTF. And uh, go to buildaprep.com for all your preparedness needs. God bless America, and thank you for watching.